In NBA 2K23, you can make the stereotypical center with a 99 block, 99 rebound, maybe you can dunk a little bit, but you can also make a center with a 92 three-pointer and gold limitless range that can shoot from half court consistently. But maybe that's not your style. Maybe you want a hybrid defender that has that 99 rebound but also has a 95 steal and has gold glove with 92 perimeter defense and gold clamps. Or maybe you just want a 93 driving dunk and you want to dunk on everybody's head. But whatever you want, it's not going to be a post score. Because unfortunately, I cannot condone having no skill. I'm kidding. If you're a post scorer, that's fine. I mean, kind of. Anyway, so <laughs> you're going to make your build a center. And then you're going to make your guy left-handed because lefties shoot better than righties, even though that's not true. And you're going to make your jersey number one because if you ain't first, you last. All right, so for this first build, and yes, there will be two more, so make sure you check all of them out. We're going to go seven foot. We're going to go 234 on the weight because that is the lowest you can have for the most speed possible while still having 86 strength for gold brick wall. And you're going to go seven foot seven wingspan. Now, this is more of a traditional center here. So as you see... We can get an 86 driving dunk for gold limitless takeoff. You also get silver posterizer, you get the pro contact dunks, you get gold masher, and you have enough badges to put everything on. The shooting, we've got the three pointer right on 83 for that extra 16th badge and the gold guard up. You will have to put one of your extra badges on shooting, but you will be able to core catch and shoot this way and then put on dead eye, and then you can still use your claymore and blinders. And then if you wanted to use guard up, you could, but. Honestly, Claymore and Blinders are probably the best options here, and then you'll have some badges left for a clutch shooter or whatever. That's all you really need. Catch and shoot in the corner, you're going to hit every open shot. For playmaking, it's obviously not great, but there is enough badges here for you to core Vice Grip or Blake Starter and then get the other one, and you can have Bailout as well, which is all you really need for passing. For defense, we're going to have Gold Rebound Chaser, Gold Brick Wall, Hall of Fame Anchor with that 99 block, Hall of Fame Pogo Stick. Those two together are extremely important as a center. I don't think people realize how important Hall of Fame Anchor is. If you can have Hall of Fame Pogo Stick with Hall of Fame Anchor, you shouldn't be complaining about interior defense, let's just say that. And 29 badges is enough to put all that on, and as you can see, the speed is pretty good. So for the takeover on this build, I would go with box out wall because this is like box and worm in one. You can get in front of box outs and you can get box outs easier. It's actually better than all the other glass takes. So if you're looking for rebounding, I would go with that. And then I like to have the sharp as the secondary. That way when you're hitting threes, you earn points towards your takeover so you can get that rebounding one a little quicker. So as you can see, you're an inside out scorer. And you could also go with rim take instead of the glass take if you wanted to. This next build, we are also going to be 7 foot, and you can be a center or power forward just like the last one. But this time, we're going to go 233 pounds on the weight and 7 foot wingspan, alright? So, this build is a lot different from the last one in the fact that we actually are going to have a 92 three-pointer, which is insane. You are a stretch big with hull, or, sorry, gold <laughs> limitless range. You can have Hall of Fame corner specialist if you want. But gold limitless range, gold dead eye, gold catch and shoot gold blinders that like you can have literally everything you would possibly need shooting wise on this build and this build still gets gold anchor and gold pogo stick but it does have to get silver rebound chaser which kind of sucks but the shooting definitely makes up for it and you still get that 85 driving dunk as well so whenever you're coming off the pick and roll or maybe you're in the corner and you're cutting you can still catch lobs you got pro contact dunks you have silver posterizer your speed is a 74 because of that low weight so there's two big downsides to this build one is the defensive rebound is an 85 and the other is the strength is only a 61 so keep those two things in mind but if you want to be a stretch specifically on the 5v5 if you have another center on your team yeah this build is crazy so there you have it two-way three level score if you're enjoying the video here's just a quick reminder to hit that sub button because literally only two percent of you are subscribed Okay, so now for the final build. Now this one is a lot different from the other two, and this is honestly my favorite one. So you do have to be a small forward, otherwise you can't get the weight low enough to do this. But you can play the center, you can play a small forward, you can even play shooting guard if you wanted to, or power forward. This build can do everything except run point, right? So as you can see here, you still get the contact dunks, you still have the 83-3 just like the first build, but you were six foot eight with 84 speed, and you still have 99 defensive rebound. You got that Hall of Fame rebound chaser. You have that 93 block for the gold anchor and the gold you actually have hall of fame pogo stick because of the rebounds and your steals a 95 for gold glove your perimeter defense is a 92 for gold clamps <laughs> and you 
I mean, you get 33 defensive badges. You can basically guard every single person on the court. You can guard the point guard. You can guard the center. You can literally do whatever you want on this build, right? So this build is a defensive menace, right? This is a hybrid defender, and you're going to be able to do everything. Everything except for dribble. So, yeah, there's that build, and I like this one a lot. Specifically for being a power forward in the 5v5, this build is very very crazy for that but it can also run center on park or lock on park which is really nice it, it's very versatile and it's called a two-way inside out score just like every other build in this game pretty much if you made it all the way to the end of the video comment seven foot three post scores are the sexiest thing to ever walk the planet after you comment go ahead and click this video to learn how to shoot because i know you can't shoot you're a post scorer